Hey. World famous Memphis Pita. Now, for those who don't know who I am, I've always been world famous. I've always had a cigarette in my mouth. But for this video, we get rid of the cigarette. So, there's a lot of guys out here that are doing a lot of different videos, and they're talking about Grubhub. And, you know, some of them, depending on what market you're in, where you live in the United States, Grubhub, you can make a seriously ton of money. Now, you know, some of these guys are on commission, some of them, like in the Boston area, I actually have a real job. A real job meaning all the drivers in the Boston area are not on commission, and they all get paid hourly. Maybe I should tell you a little bit about that and understand where I'm coming from. I've owned a cab company, I've worked for Uber, I've worked for Lyft, I've worked for Postmates, I've worked for DoorDash. Now, I've worked for all these different companies over the last 28 years. Grubhub is absolutely the ticket if you want to go ahead and make some real money. I've been around a long time, and I've been doing this, and I'm not going to candy coat anything. All you guys that, you know, work for Postmates, or you work for DoorDash, or... You work for these different ride-sharing companies. Listen, the ride-sharing companies, I'm going to let you know. You know, when these autonomous vehicles come out, you guys are going to be all out of luck. You're not going to have make any money. Because what's going to happen is they're going to not need you. Now, if you need a career and you need a job and you're in the Boston area, all I'm going to tell you is this. Instead of getting a 1099 with Uber and Lyft and all these other places, you know, different grub hubs in different parts of the area do have, you know, 1099. Here in Boston, what they do is they pay you hourly. Let me give you a rundown. Now, the average driver is working about 80 hours a week. I know most of you guys are working about 80 hours a week. Let me tell you the difference between Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, and, and the difference of what goes on. Everybody does a background check. That's standard. you got to have a good driving record. That's also standard. I mean, that's pretty much how you get in here. Now, once you pass your driver's test and your, uh, your background check, Lyft, you can roughly make about a thousand dollars a week on 80 hours, which is not a lot of money when you do the math and the time you got to put in, plus your gas and everything. Uber, you can do roughly around thirteen hundred dollars. They have bonuses and stuff. Grubhub, I'm averaging 80 hours a week, roughly around eighteen hundred dollars a week. Now, I put a lot of time and money in, just like most of you, and most of you that watch this are gonna understand that where I'm coming from. Grubhub 100% changed my entire life. Now, I just finished working. I worked all day long. It's Saturday, I think, uh, the 30th. The day before April Fool's Day and the day before Easter. And, you know, many people are doing a lot of travel and running around, but a lot of people don't want to cook. And a lot of people are going to order out and they're doing catering and everything. Grubhub hourly, first 40 hours, you get $5.75 an hour, $2 of delivery, plus all your tips. Once you go past 40 hours, any overtime you do, you get $11.50 an hour, $3 of delivery, plus your tips. Now, I work roughly 80 hours a week, which is about what most standard drivers do when they're driving a taxi, or they're doing Uber, or they're doing Lyft, or whatever it is. And I'm going to tell you, I'm averaging seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars a week in the Boston market. I roughly do between fifteen and twenty jobs jobs average a day. And let me tell you, guys, no joke. Okay, you want to make money, you need to sign up with Grubhub. Grubhub, you don't have to even do a job if you do nothing in eighty hours, you get paid anyway. You don't want to do that because that does get the big bosses upset. But all these guys that say, oh, I work three hours and I make this amount of money. I've worked, I've done three jobs and I've gotten $90. Yeah, that's if you're doing a catering job. That's if you're doing whatever. But if you do a regular shift, 15 to 20 jobs average, say, in 10 or 12 hours, whatever your shift is, um, you know, and they do have breaks and stuff like that, you're averaging at the end of, say, six to say you work 80 hours a week and you work over six days, hypothetically. You are averaging, at least after taxes, twelve to fourteen hundred dollars. Now I've done it. My last six weeks, I've done an average average of eighty hours, and I've done roughly um, 
between 11.50 on slow week, because there are slow weeks every once in a while, up to over $1,350. Now that's after taxes. Before taxes, I've done average between $1,700 and $1,900, okay? This is no joke, okay? If you're tired of being a regular driver, being rated, if you're tired of, like, having customers go out of their way to, you know, I don't like to drive it the way he looks. I don't like the way, you know, we don't get rated here. There's no rating system. They give you a shirt. You should have to wear a uniform, though. They give you a hat. They give you a shirt. They give you a pizza bag. They also give you a little delivery handbag. You can also, in the wintertime, they will get you a winter jacket. Company's very good. They got a 401k for retirement. They have medical. If you, you know, have medical, they have insurance and stuff like that. It's it's a foolproof deal, guys. You guys that have been skeptical, I want to tell you. Listen, I went from working at DoorDash full time, roughly 80 hours a week, making roughly, oh, I'm gonna say roughly around 11 or 1200 dollars before taxes. Okay, to make an 1800 average a week. Okay, so I went from about 52 or 53,000 a year to over $80,000. Okay, this ain't a joke. I don't make this up. I make a lot of videos, but you know, I need you guys to understand you can make some real good money here at Grubhub. This is worth it, every ounce of it. Look, I'm not going to candy coat anything. I'm not going to tell you guys a story to get you to sign up. I'm not going to tell you anything that's different than anybody else. Yeah, you can make good money. Yeah, it also comes with luck. Sometimes you get no tip. Sometimes you get a $100 tip. It depends on just what's going on, the type of order you have. If you're delivering 10 pizzas, sure, they're going to give you $25 or $30 for a 10-minute ride. But you average, it all averages out, and you will average uh, you'll notice you'll have a daily average. My daily average is roughly around between $250 and $300 every single day. More around $250. Some days you're going to have days you make $375. You just don't know. Depends on how hard you work, how many deliveries you get, and how many jobs you actually do. And the more jobs you do in the course of an 8 to 12 hour shift, which is about the average, you know, it's worth it. It's worth every ounce of everything. And you know what? Anybody that watches this video that doesn't want to believe me, I tell you what, I'm going to prove it to you. When you go to download the Grubhub app, because they do Eats, they do uh, Store24, uh, what's it called, Grub, um, Foodler. Um, they used to be part of Dining In. This company has like seven or eight companies that they've acquired and taken in. You know, they just took over Foodler. Foodler was huge. They have over 600 drivers in the Boston area, and they're always looking for help. And you know what? Anybody who wants to help and believe what I'm telling them, I'm going to make it easy. Download the Grubhub app, right? Use my name as a reference. My name is Peter Sewell. I'll spell the last name. S is in Sam, E-W-E-L-L. -E -L. Well worth it. If you Once you sign up, use my name as a reference. Now, you don't have to, but you should. I get a good reputation here. I work my butt off. I'm pretty well known in the company. The dispatchers know me well. The people that work here know me well. The manager loves me because I perform at a different level. I put all my work and caring into the job because that's what you're supposed to do. But there's no rating system. You know, you got to be friendly. You have to not have an attitude. You got to be part, you know, you got to have positive thinking. You should have good driver knowledge, you know. I mean, this isn't for everybody. But if you're a single mom, a single dad, somebody that has to pay child support, somebody who, you know, needs to take care of the kids in college, stuff like that, look, use my name, Peter Sewell. I got no problem. You use my name if you're signing up in the Boston area. You can also use my name in other markets, too. It's fine with me. I'll be more than happy to welcome, you know, if you want to put my name down. And you can use it whatever market you're in. You're in California, Chicago, Los Angeles, wherever, Florida. Look, this is worth it, guys. You, where are you going to go to make 80000 plus a year delivering food? Especially if you're a worker and you work about 80 hours a week. I mean, granted, it sounds like a lot of hard work, but it's really not. It's common sense. 
pick up the food, get it from the store, the order comes through the phone, you walk in, you get it with your hot bag, you get back in the car, you deliver it to the customer, you go on to the next one. That's it. That simple. That easy. No bullshit. No stories. Nobody, nobody's going to tell you anything different. You know, these other guys that come out, oh, I worked three hours, I made $70. Listen, you gotta, it's going to have good and bad days. It's not going to be like that. You're not going to get the blockbuster job every day. But they have a catering service here, which you can work yourself into. I rather stick with the smaller stuff. I find that it's easier for me, and I rather keep busy doing the smaller stuff. The catering jobs, you might only get five a day, maybe six. There is waiting around in between with stuff like that. I'm a hustler, and if you hustle and you want to make money, you know what? You go after it. You just plain and simple. There's no other way of saying it. So look, trust what I'm telling you. I I went from fifty-five thousand a year to eighty plus thousand dollars a year. I mean, I don't know what the math is on it, but let's say eighteen hundred roughly a week is what I'm averaging. Seventeen, eighteen hundred. Okay, at seventeen hundred. Well, let's see this. I'll make it easy. At 1500 if that's all I was doing on 50 weeks a year, that's $75,000. So add another 200 to that. Okay, times 50 weeks in the year. Let's say you want two-week vacation. You're doing eighty-five grand on $1,700. I mean, 85000 guys to deliver food. You know, it doesn't take much of a brain surgeon to figure out, you know what, this, is my, this might be worth it for me. Now look, I made a lot of videos, I do a lot of funny stuff, I say a lot of things, but you know what, this is real shit. You're going to make money if you sign up, okay? Part-time, full-time, whatever, you, mother's hours, whenever you can work, they'll let you know, you just tell them. Be straightforward, but I'm telling you, Grubhub is definitely the way to go if you want to make real money. In the meantime, glad I could share the experience. Because, see, I'm smiling all the way to the bank. I mean, I'm 45 years old. I've been around this business my whole life. I got nothing to lose here. I got everything to gain. And I'm just trying to help other people see the success that I've had. Okay? I'm not going to put on no candy coat story and tell you how much you can make millions of dollars. I'm just telling you, look, you, you want to make money, you want to prove your life, Come here and come work here. Well worth it. Okay? It's real easy. Just, you know, when you go in the office, when you get an orientation finally, bring in your registration, bring a copy of your license, make sure you bring your Social Security card, and bring a copy of your bank routing number, and bring, bring a blank check. You have your routing number and the bank number right on it. They direct deposit you every week. It goes right to your bank account. No problem. Some places you can get paid every day, like DoorDash. This company pays you by the week. The first week they hold back a week because, you know, let's say you work from Saturday to Friday. The following Friday you'll get your check for whatever you did this week. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you know what? Again, I'll give you my name. You download the app. Type in Peter Sewell, S-E-W-E-L-O. -L. That's, who, that's who referred you. After you do so many deliveries, you you know, you can also call your friends and have your friends sign up. You can get a commission on that too. This isn't about the commission. This is about proving that you can be financially successful and make real money with a real job. Look, I've been through a lot. I've worked for a lot of places. I've owned a cab company. Like I said, I've done Uber. I've done Lyft. I've done DoorDash. I've done Postmates. This is the best one out of all of them. And I only hope that everything works out and that you guys can be successful. And hopefully we'll see you soon. And hopefully we'll see you on the streets of Boston or wherever you're from. But don't give up hope. When I thought everything wasn't possible, I found this job by accident. And it is possible. With a little hard work, you can make it. Good luck. Sign up for Grubhub. And make sure you use me as a reference. And you will be more than happy when you're done. And you might even email me or thank me. You never know. In the meantime, have a good evening. Happy Easter. And good luck. Keep driving and drive safe.